What's up guys? It is Harrison here back with another killer chemistry video for you guys today. Today we're talking about JJ Thompson. Joseph John JJ Thompson was born on December 18, 1856 in Manchester, England. As a young boy, JJ Thompson was a little bit more on the shy side. However, people could tell that he had a huge interest in math and science, but specifically in science, he enjoyed physics the most. His discovery of the electron was huge for science and chemistry specifically because it changed the way we looked at the atom and obviously we're still using the atom and electrons to this day. So it definitely changed the way everything was you know, revolving around science. So the way he discovered the electron was by using the cathode ray tube experiment. So basically what this was was when he took a kind of a glass tube and what he did is he sucked all the air out of it and there were two metal pieces um, at the beginning of the bottle and electrons from the first metal piece were attracted to the second metal piece and then it went all the way to the glass end of the bottle. Here we have a, a visual of what the cathode ray tube experiment looked like when J.J. Thompson did it when he discovered the electron. So here we have the tube, which is a glass tube, and over here we have a pump, which would take all the air out. So this is, um, all the air being taken out of the tube was able to attract electrons from this magnet right here, over here. And what the electrons would do is when they would go from one end of the tube to the other, they would actually make a green beam of light. And we actually don't have a green pen because, you know, budget issues, but we make that a little bit more um, visible. And so this green beam of light was all electrons being pushed over from this magnet all the way over to this one. So after he discovered the electron, he went back to America after being in England before. And he gave a series of lectures at Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut. And basically in these lectures, he talked about um, you know, the structure of an atom and how you know, electrons kind of um, control the atom and how they're on the outside. Um, and about protons and neutrons are on, on the inside. So he just kind of talked about the structure of the atom and the atomic theory and just things like that. So after contributing so many things to science, he was actually knighted in 1908 um, by the Queen of England. So now people call him Sir J.J. Thompson instead of just J.J. Thompson. After discovering many other things besides the electron, such as the isotope and the subatomic particle, J.J. Uh, Thompson died on August 30th, 1940 in Cambridge, England. So that's all for the video today, guys. Click the links in the description if you want to know more about J.J. Thompson. He was a truly special man in the world of science and he should be celebrated to this day. That's all for the video and I'll see you guys next time. JJ was not like most of his peers. He was extremely advanced at no, no, no. It's Jake interrupting everything like Jake do. There's Harrison living the life. There's Jake. Jake, no! Stop! Gang, 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 gang.